all this because I'm not. Something shit has happened to me recently and I don't know how to deal with it because I can only be angry at the situation, I cannot see a solution. I can only hate myself and be full of guilt and I have to wait for a day when I do not feel guilt anymore I need to wait for this time to heal me but in the meantime I must suffer my symptoms and my illness and uh, so is this uh, the way it is I just replay again and again and again in my head. So it's not by accident that I cannot be myself here today because I am not myself. Something happened to me to change me to something which is very hard to being. I am not the same woman. I'm not the same woman because something happened to me to change me, because we are our environment. I, I just come because I am full of honor and I am here to honor my promise to sit with you and to talk with you, but if it was any friend or normal situation, then I would cancel, I would say I'm too busy, because what happened to me is very bad. Well, I don't want to talk about it, do I? Because I obviously worked up about it, I just want to forget, especially because I tell you I feel guilt now, and I just want to put it in my past and forget and become a new woman who has not this in her past. This is unforgivable, way I interact with other human beings. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I, like, I'm already a ruined woman. I don't have no cure for this. I just know that this ruined woman must live with suffering because of the wrong she has done. That's all I know. I know you call me here to talk of fashion and yes, I bring a nice uh, clothes for you but I am not in the character to play myself who is a woman who loves fashion. I love apparel, I love attire, I love garments and I love clothes. But there is no point in talking of love when you are guilt Read it. You can just sit here and just stare at the fucking wall because there is nothing you can think about else than your bad thing you have done. I say I don't want to talk of this thing I have done because I have hurt many people in the process and if I talk about it they will be hurt even more because they will watch this television and they will see, okay, she talk about me and how she, she fuck me up and she's going to talk more about uh, and she's going to uh, uh, pour salt on the, the scar. But yes, this is not a therapy session. I understand. Let us get down to business. What I do in my spare time? Well, <laughs> socializing should not be one of those things, but I do that and I fail at it and it ruins the other aspects of my life. Otherwise, in my free time, and I'm not being a fashion uh, idol, then I uh, make clothes myself in my room. I am going constant scout hunting for a new clothes at the grandmother's house. I uh, it's, it's a kind of uh, going from door to door kind of business and it's very humble in that way because you just uh, you're just visiting and uh, you say hey uh, hello I'm just a, a fellow human being you know nothing special you may have seen me on television but I am still the same uh, as you a human being I believe in equality and everything absolutely.
absolutely. And uh, I come to her house and I ask her any old, uh, older, elderly, whatever is polite uh, women in the house. I would like to take a look at your clothes and uh, take them off your hands. And, uh, by this age, a lot of women, they are tired, especially of husband, uh, hoarding uh, objects in the house they don't want in the house no more. And so you come to their house and you, you do them favor, but obviously it is a bit naughty of me because uh, it's a vintage clothes and I become famous and rich because of this. But, but at the same time, I think I do a favor to the public uh, elderly women sector because uh, they are happy to be rid of clothes, they are bored of for 30 years. So I uh, suspect that's okay. And I can tell you about uh, what I'm wearing today. Yes, I can certainly do that. You can look down at my uh, boots here. <laughs> Right, so they are absolutely beautiful. I, I had to pay for this, I got for only uh, $50. Oh, fuck, no, <laughs> this is completely wrong. So, if you look at these beauties, uh, yes, I love them red leather boots with a little alligator detail at the, at the top rim of the boots. And uh, this comes from um, a charity shop and uh, uh, I take it off their hands for only five dollars. Yes, I'm pretty proud of this bargain. Uh, the same um, price I get for my uh, fake leather jacket, okay, it's fake, but when it comes to this look you don't need uh, anything less but a cheaper jacket. Really, because it's a bit of a cheap rocker look, you know, it casualizes what you are wearing and uh, so it does not need to be paid much for. You don't need so good quality. At the same time, I really appreciate real leather jacket that is an uh, amazing object. But remember, uh, in last time we talked, we talked about animal welfare, which I care so much about. And uh, so I don't want to buy new leather. I only take off old ladies this leather, so it does not uh, throw away. I do not believe in throwing in the garbage. And so, what else am I wearing? Yes, so I have uh, this skirt which I got for one dollar. I'm no kidding, it's one dollar uh, from Zara, it is, but I picked it up at a charity shop, yes. And you see this scarf, yes, it's a very cheap market scarf somebody gave to me for present. Yes, I've got a number of grandmother garments on me right now. Yes, absolutely, I find everywhere grandmothers who give to me these things. This is some kind of jersey, I don't know. But uh, underneath I have a nice white shirt which come from my grandmother. Uh, she was very nice. She had uh, this uh, red, uh, not ginger, but uh, very red hair on her head. I think she colors it, but it is like that naturally too. But uh, underneath you got these nice patterns and I appreciate the patterns. And it's a nice uh, color too. I was thinking of adding some uh, nice embroidery detail to the color with my own sewing machine because uh, I can do it, you know, I have the skill, so why not if it is going to look better. So, uh, what else do I have on me? I have the uh, socks from a normal shop, normal price. I don't care much about socks, just they look nice on my leg and therefore my leg must be worked out or something. It can't be losing shape. Okay, so I also have, yes, this blazer, it comes from my another grandmother. Uh, she had a very nice tea in her house. She let me drink with her and we had a nice um, relationship even today because she told me about her sons in, uh, and how they have progressed in, in the Slavic languages. And so I can talk to them in uh, my own language. 
but uh, you can see these are my clothes yes that's true I love gardens don't get me wrong I love them I love them with all my heart but you pick wrong moment to interview me today really I cannot imagine the worst moment you could have done this because it's a, it's a bad time basically bad time I do not have anything else to say because that what I did was very, very wrong and, and I feel so much guilt. You see, yes, yes, it may seem sometimes we have a perfect life, we who in, in the newspapers and we who look good, yes, I look good, but not me, my life is good. I have so many difficulties, I don't know how to explain it to you. I just it ruined everything. Mm. People call me eccentric, you know? People call me eccentric because I am myself. And it is not accepted for me to be like I am in the society. So I must change or I must uh, forget about interaction with society and live like a fashionable escape, which I think is the better solution. Because I love being who I am and I do not intend to change. But when I am in the company of others, they do not like what they see or hear sometimes. But all this is too heavy for the Western ear to hear. And so I will shut up with my mouth. I will shut my mouth.